you know what, after 5 rounds, things are looking kinda good. I mean look, there we are, 5th in the driver's championship, a podium in the first race, then we got a 4th place in the second one, then an amazing 5th place in the Alfa Romeo, then um, I don't really remember what, what happened in the British Grand Prix. In the last race, 7th place in the Alfa Tori, so I think the season went quite well so far. Um, I've been so lucky so far in this series, I mean, okay, I've got the Alfa Romeo in Hungary, but that also turned out fine in the end, so I'm actually afraid to, to spin this. But here we go! Oh, I, you know what, I don't even want to watch, I don't even want to, to look at the wheel. What, what is it? What is it? Is Oh, that's good, that's actually good. Okay, so let's see, who predicted signs for this Grand Prix? And we have 29 people that predicted signs. If I got that correctly, and yeah, there's a high chance that I didn't. You know, I just realized we are going to replace Carlos Sainz for the Spanish Grand Prix. I guess the fans are not gonna be very happy with that. What a familiar sight. We're back in the McLaren garage. Hey everyone, did you miss me? For the first outing I fueled the car a bit more and decided to go for two fast laps back to back because there was no risk in losing time as uh, this track is kinda short. The first lap was quite bad, I ran wide at uh, turn 5 and then again at turn 10. In the second lap I managed to gain a bit of time in the first sector but then I ran wide again in turn 5. But this time I nailed turn 10 and just look how much I gained kind of a good lap, I mean, three tenths up. The second outing was even better, I finally nailed sector 1 and I gained a good amount of time, but sector 2 was even better. Purple sector, oh wow, that's a surprise, haven't seen that in a while. Seven tenths, eight tenths up, oh my god. P3! Where did that come from? I didn't really have big expectations for the last attempt because I pretty much nailed the previous lap so I didn't really think that I could improve on it but anyway I tried and then of course another racing point had to ruin my lap and now I'll have traffic look it's another racing point can you believe it? Perfect perfect time Sergio perfect time bro so I finished qualifying in P4, just one tenth behind Bottas. I was I was amazed with that lap and I was very happy to be honest. I mean, best of the rest pretty much, so my job here is done. Strategy? <laughs> what strategy? I mean, I cannot beat those three guys in front of me. I just want to stay in fourth and then I'll be happy. Lights out and away we go and oh my god, is this... A good start for once? No, it cannot be. As usual, I <laughs> I mess up the second part of the start. But, can I go around the outside here? And maybe... Maybe just stay in front of Verstappen? No, no, I have no downforce. At this point, I thought, well, this is gonna be a very short video. And almost, almost did a Grosjean. You know what, I dropped a few positions, but I'm happy that I didn't crash. I gotta say, I got really lucky there, I mean, for a split second I just imagined myself rejoining the track like Grosjean, you know, in 2018, and everyone just plowing into my car and, you know, causing a huge <laughs> pile up, and probably a safety car or a red flag, but anyway, I'm happy that I managed to avoid that. Yeah, I was a bit too greedy there, I should have just waited, you know, maybe I would have had a chance at Verstappen, but... Anyway, nothing really happened for the next two laps, um, Albon managed to pull away a bit from Sebastian and behind Sebastian a train started to form, you know, with Perez, me and the stroll behind me uh, and I was also struggling a bit with the tires, they were not yet up to temperature, so I wasn't really happy with the car. Oh come on, I lost a bit the back end there, too far away now. Surely too far away, but Sergio is gonna make a move on the Ferrari. There's no way he's gonna be stuck there. Yep, there we go, there we go. Maybe we can pick up the pieces. 
from this fight. Can we? Can we? Can we? They are still side by side. Can I go down the inside here? Should I go down the inside? You know what? We're going for it here. That was a bit... That was a bit naughty, but... I know you guys enjoyed that uh, fight from the last race with, that I had with Sergio, but I don't want to see any any of that stuff again. I mean, it was so stressful. I thought we'd crash for the entire, you know, last lap of the race. I thought, yep, that's it. We're gonna we're gonna end end the race right there and then. Purple sector. Would you look at that? So this McLaren. Has has some pace. You know what? I gotta put on a good show for the Spanish fans. I mean, I I replaced their favorite uh, driver <laughs> at his home Grand Prix. So let's say I'm sure I'm not the like the most liked person in Spain right now. But at least I can make up for it with uh, a good fight here. Should I pit this lap? Nope, I'm staying out. You know what? I'm staying at one more lap. The car behind is dropping back. We're seeing a gap form. See, that's why I wanted to stay out. We're not doing undercuts here. Now, there's another Mercedes that is struggling, apparently. I mean, I just looked at the minimap and... Uh, I thought Albon and uh, the Stappen were fighting for third place, but nope, that's a Mercedes there. And I got a suspicion it's, well, of course, Valtteri Bottas. Let's get into the pits, and it looks like two of those cars are also into the pits. Lando is coming in for a stop. Oh well, Lando is going to have a surprise, <laughs> that's for sure. Lando is going to have a very unpleasant surprise. You didn't, you didn't lose that much. And we are still in front of uh, Paris, though we lost a bit of time there. I see an Alfa Romeo there in third place, which is good because it's gonna interfere with uh, Albon, or I assume that's Albon in third. This is working very well for us, look at this. They've been held up and, and that guy doesn't want to stop. That is just perfect. That is what I want to see. We're leading our teammate by 10 and somehow... Uh, yeah, the Red Bull is still stuck behind him. Perfect. That is just perfect. Is this another podium chance now? Well, in the next corner, Albon finally managed to pass Giovinazzi. And then in the next DRS zone, it was Valtteri's turn. Oh my god. Almost lost the car there. Which way should I go? I'm gonna stay on the outside. Come on, come on Valtteri, come on, come on! Ah, I made a mess out of those two corners. And now I'm the one stuck behind Giovinazzi. Come on, please pit, please pit, man. Actually, no, that's working in our favor because I'm gonna have DRS now. Oh, I had the DR, the sorry, the overtake button on. Bruh. And I finally managed to pass Giovinazzi in lap 10, but Bottas and Albon were long gone. Yeah, I think the the podium chance is pretty much over now. Not that it was there to begin with. I mean, come on. I was hoping to beat a Mercedes and a and a freaking Red Bull for a podium. I mean, that's just daydreaming. But anyway, in the next lap, I managed somehow to get within one second of Valtteri Bottas. Oh, we got we got DRS. I don't know what's going on with Valtteri here. I mean, this is just another disastrous race for him. I mean, we are not gonna overtake Valtteri on the straight. Come on. Even I feel bad for him, even though I gained a few points. Okay, that was a bit aggressive. Now, I don't think I can catch Albon, but... You know very well that I'm gonna try. 
Verstappen has just moved into first place. Oh, really? Wow. Then those two Red Bulls are really flying today. Yeah, another another strange weekend for Mercedes. And it seems like every time they struggle a bit, Bottas is absolutely nowhere. Well, you know, Lewis is up there, you know, trying, trying to win. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can we can catch Albon in this race. God damn it, man. With two laps to go, I just could not stop thinking about that mistake that I made in lap one. It really cost me a podium chance because I was ahead of Albon. But then... Gap to car in front is 1.7 seconds. Oh, hold on, hold on. Is that a problem? Is that a problem for Albon? Is that a problem for Albon? Yes, it is. Oh my god. Unbelievable, that's P3. Okay, clear. Okay, just keep it on the track, keep it on the track. One more lap, one more lap. No grip, nothing left on these tires. Right now, there is just nothing left on these tires. Okay, I'm gonna use a bit of overtake, but I want to keep it. Nope, 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 nope. We are not keeping any any overtake. Let me tell you what: having a Mercedes hunt you down on the final lap of the race while you are in a podium position is not fun. And my brain wasn't helping either because it was just replaying all the mistakes that I made in this championship. Like, oh yeah, remember when you spun twice in Great Britain? Oh yeah, that was a fun time. Or do you remember when you almost lost the podium because you hit both Red Bulls in the back? That was another cool race. So one more DRS zone and uh, we should be safe. He's a bit too close, I don't like that, I do not like that at all. Overtake button, overtake, give me, give me everything you have. Scenario 7, scenario 7. That's it, that's it. Just, just, just cruise. Just cruise now. Bring it home. Oh, that's the finish line. That's the finish line. And that's a podium. Second podium of the year. Yes. Yes. Now this was the toughest race of the year. Okay, look. I'll admit. Uh, I didn't really deserve this podium. But you know what they say. Uh, to finish first, you first have to finish. Those 15 points are great news for our fight with Daniel in the Drivers' Championship. Now we're back in fourth place, but... Look at that, the difference is just 3 points, pretty much nothing. And to be honest, I think another threat is gonna be Alexander Albon. Nothing really changed in the Constructors' Championship, it's pretty much the same situation. But let's get ready for one of the best circuits in the world, Spa-Francorchamps. So I'll see you guys next time.